Hello, hello, hello. Welcome. We are back. We are back indeed. Uh, thank you, Eric. Uh, I don't know if you're still here, but thank you anyway. Hello, Mikolai. Welcome. We are back on Maple Farm. <coughs> oh, excuse me. Well, I think today is the day we get some uh, sheep going. I think. Get our haggis going. So it is, uh, I'm thinking maybe it's between 60 and 100 sheep to start off with. We do only have 114,000 in the bank, which should be enough. Uh, yes, we'll get some sheep. We'll get them uh, fed. I will probably, I could probably just use that. I uh, will get some grass into there. And then uh, we'll go from there. Right. Let's have a look at some sheeps. Uh, I'm thinking we get the ones that can reap you. Uh, yes. We'll get some nice sheep. Right, and we'll get 60, so 32,000. We'll buy them and then we'll see what the food situation is. Hello Adam, thank you for stopping by, I hope you're doing well, we're doing some sheeps, we need them sheeps, <clears throat> so I won't know the capacity of this until I start actually dropping some grass in there, so we'll start by doing that and then we'll see if I want to increase it to 100. But this pen will hold, uh, I think, 500, which is more than enough sheep. They'll be spitting out wool and haggis in no time. Right, uh, well, I'm sure I can put grass back into this so we can uh, feed my sheep. Just pull it out of the, the Hessian silo that I've chucked all the grass into. Yes, fantastic. Yes, what you been up to today, Adam? Work, 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 is it? I'm just going to check my volume on my side. Yep. We'll just plug it in here. I am just going to check my volume on my yep. side. We'll just that's perfect. I can hear myself, so that's good. Have a look at. Yep, it looks like they'll take a little bit. Uh, I'll put in another couple of loads. We 
do have a bit in there. What's what's the silage doing? We're getting there. Which is okay. Um Yeah, so it's January. Nine. We're in August, so we've got plenty of time to store up some silage for selling. Uh, well, actually, we probably won't sell it all uh, because we'll need to keep uh, a stock up for doing the cows, which I'm hoping to get into soon. But we will need a bit of uh, money stocked up for that. Which uh, the wool from the sheep will certainly help. <coughs> I'm just hoping that it, uh, yeah, it looks like this place will do at least two rows of pallets. do also need to remember to re-fertilize that this field here because uh, I've put oats into it uh, so we can get a bit of straw out of it because we'll also need that for the cows and the TMR and stuff so I think I'll pull one more load out of this I'll leave us with a little bit in there to go into silage And then we'll have a look at uh, what contracts are out there because we've really got to start earning some money. Uh, because we will need some more equipment, uh, especially for when we get into the cows. So we'll chuck this in here. And then we'll have a little look at the contracts. So it is. So I'll refresh that a couple of times. Right, so we do have plenty of baling contracts fertilizing. We could probably just knock out most of these contracts, to be honest. Uh, so in. I think I've still got the the cedar leased, so that's fine. I'm not too concerned with the supply and transport at the moment. Yeah, so we will probably get through all of all of the cultivating fertilizing uh, contracts. Uh, yeah. Right, so. Well, 93, 94 and 87 look like the uh, 93, 94, yep, 87, yes it looks like, so we'll take these ones. to begin with. We'll go and do that. Get this truck back into here, pick up our fertilizer spreader and we'll go and hit all them fields. Won't take us too long. The spread width on this 42 meters so it's more than enough for the fields on this map it's already got plenty in right so where are we heading to I'll hit uh, 93 which is just out here 
94s. Oh, perfect, just across the road. Get 93 out the way. Ten percent completed already. It's only a wee field. We'll soon be making money no time. The J bot ways. We will need to save up some money for some uh, 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 harvester. Hi, Dirt Farmer. Thank you for stopping by. Hello, wee Mikolai. Now, I started a little bit earlier. You might be able to catch a little bit of the stream before you head off to your bed. Hope you're both doing well. Three's done. We'll collect that. Yes, we uh, we just uh, I did just buy sixty sheep. Got my sheep's going. I filled them up with uh, a little bit of grass. Uh, hi, Banks. I hope you're doing well. Uh, yeah, got sixty sheep. Filled them up with a little bit of grass. It looks only half full which is fine the now uh, and we're just going to uh, bash through these contracts get some money rolling into the account uh, so we will and then I'll decide whether I want more sheep or I'm just going to save up the money to buy equipment for the, the farm while I've got the fertilizer on I am just going to fertilize my own field that I planted with uh, oats towards the end of uh, last stream yesterday. Because we got rid of one of the cow barns. As you can see there's a big gap in the, f in the yard now so. Look at our happy sheep. Lovely. <laughs> yeah, Banks. That was quite uh, funny. That's from the podcast. Hi, Fury. Uh, yeah, yeah, I mean, the, this map is just incredible. Uh, I... I don't see it getting played often. I mean, there's quite clearly people going to be playing the map. Uh, I don't see why people are not playing this map. But uh, with content creators, I think it's just been sort of skipped over because there's a lot of other uh, more popular maps. But I don't understand why this isn't just as popular as most of them. This is an incredible map. Yeah, Dirt Farmer, that, that podcast had me laughing right the way through it. I uh, so it did. I enjoy the podcast. Absolutely, uh, Fury. I mean, Cavalier Roy is quite a whiz kid. His maps have a type of alien gym about them. Uh, you know, with these... Uh, cuttable hedges and basically gives you the option of opening the map right up Mikolai Gunson what do you mean Mikolai sound oh 
What on earth are you doing over here? Excuse me. I just got an achievement. Yes. Now you get yourself off home. No, don't sit. Go home. There you go. It's a very dangerous place. Yeah, Banks, I, I seen uh, some of them photos uh, that you were posting in the Discord there of your uh, kitchen demolitions and I'm guessing the fr uh, them other photos of that house that that is your house and if so that is an incredible house it is beautiful and I look forward to come to stay over which yeah thank you for the offer <laughs> yes what is Jordy doing here Oh, Mikolai. Mikolai is going to stay young forever. He's going to be a 100-year-old youngster. We Mikolai is. Still doing his wheeze. Yes, never grow up too quickly. Hi, Yoss. Passport. Uh, yes, uh, yes. Well, unless you want to put me in a... a a suitcase and just smuggle me in. Hello, Mr. Grady. I hope you are doing well. Yes, we're just, uh, you just join in. Uh, we've got 60 sheep, got some grass in there. We've got now a haggis production on the road. And um, we're just going to blast through all the contracts now. We're just going to. Go right through them. Get our money up. Smuggling rates. Hmm. It's free for me, isn't it, yours? Well, I, I was thinking of uh, getting another 40 to take up to around 100 sheep because, you know, the more sheep, the happier J-Bot is. But, uh, yeah, we've just got to look after our money a little bit because we don't have much equipment. So basically, it's the same story of uh, the farm on the server. Which is in good shape now, I must say. Thanks to uh, Adam's input and we Mikolai's input. I did just jump on there and did a quick contract before the stream. Oh dear Mikolai, is it is it not going well for you? You're not wanting to be a pilot. <laughs> There's Jody over in the field again. I told her to go home. <laughs> Mikolai's having a terrible time with food and good. <laughs> right, another contract out the way. And collect that. 87. And we'll... I'm going to do all these. I may as well just take them out. Oh, oh yes, we're at our maximum. Right, uh, 87 and 43 and, and 6, that's fine. Eighty sevens out the back way here. Fertilizer's still doing okay. Yeah, 
Yeah, absolutely, Mikolai. I shipped her over just for the stream. But don't you worry, I'll send her back. She'll be safe. Dude. Food is good. Especially haggis. Haggis is good for you. Have you been up to anything today? Uh, I'm assuming Dirt Farm has been up to farming stuffs. Now, now, Mikolai. I hope you're not talking about my JCB like that. This is a fine machine right here. Uh, yes, Bigos. Bigos as well. Mikolai will have to cook us all Bigos. Hashtag party at Mikolai's. Not sure his uh, parents will approve, but we can try. <laughs> Contract finished, 87. Collect, lovely. We'll take another, well, we'll take this one. Right, uh, what's the plan of action here? So 43 is over here. Six is down here and then 100 is over here. We'll go across to 43, which is down this road. That's fine. Oh, we could just slip through here. Yes, the JCB is quite a wonderful machine. Look at my wee sheeps. Looking very happy. Are you happy? You look happy. Hey, happy. That happy, they want to lie down, chewing the cud. Very good. Oh, a dice far. No, no, there's no dice here. Right, uh, where do I go from here? I'll go across. Down this wee road. It should be just in front of us. This wee field here. Only got a JCB on this farm. We'll definitely be adding to the fleet. I'm not sure what my next tractor should be. I could say a JCB, but, but we might we might need something else just to mix things up a little bit. But we're a little bit away from that at the moment. We need to save up for a harvester. Hopefully one comes in the sale. Little fend. That's 
that field finished? Uh, on to field six, which is down south. There is even the opening. Oh, it's all the way around here. Uh, yes, Adam, uh, I, I'm hoping to get back on the server in time to sell off the silage uh, after the stream. I did sell off the oats uh, because it was a good price for the oats. Uh, and we've got a ton of silage to sell, so... want to take my next right. Hi Kendall. Uh, Kubota. Kubota would be nice. I do have the Kubota pack in. Uh, so I do. We have the Kubota pack in. I mean the, these don't even match up to my JCB horsepower. But I also have the Kubota Equipment Pack, which is available on ModHub, all platforms. And it just allows you to uh, paint them. You can take the Kubota decals off and just have it a different colour, like JCB Yellow, which is very shiny. It's quite nice. Yeah, I mean, I would get the, uh, the Miko Beast John Deere, but uh, the speed is an issue. I feel my crash counter would uh, skyrocket on these tight roads uh, with that thing. Or I could just get it and not have uh, the, the speed. I can just have it with 190 horsepower. But with chunky wheels because they look good. This wee thing. I also have these, which are quite nice. Yeah, as I say now, hoping to get back on the server after this uh, stream, get some silage sold off, do some more contracts, you know, do my little bit. Hi Eric. Yeah, I've seen your message before the stream about leaving a like, I do thank you. And I hope you're doing well, Eric. Just out here doing some more contracts, fertilizing, we'll get some cultivating contracts and all the contracts. I'm being good so far, I haven't used Alt Zero. We don't need that, we're just chilling. Yeah, I'm, I'm doing perfect. Can't complain. Just out here doing my farm, farm sim. Another contract done. Uh, the other field is way over yonder. Back up out on the main road.
Well, I can't, I can't promise anything, Mikolai. <laughs> you're raging, are you? There was no Miko Wees, there was Miko Nose. Yeah, I mean, we should have that uh, loan paid off after selling the silage. We should be in good good stead. But then I might take out another loan and buy another field, because you know how it goes with me. Use make the money, I'll spend it. Right. Now, question is, how do we get to that field over yonder? A bit of crab steering going round here, drifting. There we go, I think we're just going to cut across here. I'm sure that he won't mind. Your work does pay off. It pays my spending habits. Plus, you, you've bought some pretty nice machinery, Mikolai, so... We've got the Lizard Colossus, we've got a whole bunch. Hello, welcome Grumpy Cat. I wonder who this could be. It's a little bit bigger of a field. And that's another one of the farms that you could uh, take over on this map. Nice big farm though. Darren Grump. Yeah, my thoughts exactly. <laughs> I missed a spot. The sun was in my eyes. <laughs> Good. I hope you're doing well, Darren Girl. Grumpy. <laughs> now, now, you you want to own that farm one day. You can't say things like that, dirt farmer.
Your boss sounds like me. Finished. Perfect. Another three done. So all the oh, there's a cheeky one here. We'll take it. Uh, that's just back out on the main road. Lovely. <laughs> hey, they can't complain as long as you're working away. Just get your GPS set up and sit back. Yes, I mean, I'm already making profit. I started this series with 100,000. Albeit it was all alone. That I've not yet paid back, but I'm I'm three grand up. Who sold your big class harvester? Well, it was me, <laughs> but it's uh, the. Colossus has the exact same colour scheme, so whoever did it has replaced it with the exact same uh, colour scheme. So don't you worry, Mikolai. Don't you worry, young Padawan. Yeah, you might need to sort me out with a nice uh, Ursus mod. A nice big power Ursus mod, though. I know Darren do will have some. Ah, you see, there you go. Hey, grumpy Mikolai. Yeah, Mikolai, uh, Grumpy cat, that is Uncle Darren Dool right there. Uh, I might do, uh, but I haven't got it in this mod folder. Unless I do, I just haven't checked. But if I do have it, then it will be in uh, the shop. Which I will just take a little look. Uh, it will be under Ursus if I have it. There's no you. I don't have it. It's probably in another mod folder somewhere. Three thousand ho that is a serious machine right there. Does it do wheelies and everything? Right, uh, contracts, contracts. There's a whole bunch of harvesting. Balen. Cultivating. We could do these cultivating. We'll need to uh, lease a cultivator though. With these, I would need to lease a harvester. I've already got a sewing. Uh, 
I think we do these three. There we go. Three sewing contracts now. Well, you say that uh, down do, but I do have four or five mod folders just to keep everything a little bit clean and that my game saves are not loading a whole load of mods yeah I was wondering that if you get like a premium uh, price in the bales A hundred sub special. Every stream is special, you see. I think I'll do a, a 24 hour stream when I get to 1 billion subs. How's about that? Vols in your court. Uh, yeah, <laughs> Dirt Farmer, I don't think I would ever do 24-hour streams. It's it's just not healthy. Uh, when I was a teenager, I used to do a lot of staying up overnight. And, and even the thought of me doing such things now, yeah, it's, no. We might be able to do longer streams for sure, like 12-hour. That would be fine. 24 hour result of the question with me <laughs> sadly right we can drop this off and we'll pick up the C dot right now we have to figure out uh, what seed goes in where there you go Mikolai absolutely Yeah, yeah, it's, you know, if, if we get super crazy sub count, then I'll say, yeah, well, let's do a 12-hour stream. I think anything over a 12-hour stream, it's, yeah, not for me, thank you. Right, uh, 64 is wheat, so we'll do 64 and 116 first with wheat. Make sure we've got wheat uh, set in here. I will also need to pick up my seed. Uh, 24 hour test. No, no, <laughs> no drunk streams with me neither. Uh, my Euro trip, I would love a Euro trip. I would love to visit a lot of places. Yeah, absolutely, November, I'll... I could probably definitely do a 12 hour stream. 24 is out of the question though. 24 is definitely out of the question. Right, 64 is out the back here. We'll get this planted with wheat. Lame. Drunk streams. I, yeah, I don't think it'll be... Right, let me have a look. There's a wee road. This is the road that I'm to take. Um, I might even go in the right way for 64. 
Yeah, sure I am. Look, there's a nice visible road just right through here, which is quite nice of them to do. See, Dirt Farmer, this is how you get to your fields quicker. You just go across your neighbour's fields. It's fine. There you go. I'm sure they won't complain at all. Right, I do just want to check that I've got wheat in. I do. Uh, no, that's absolutely fine. I totally understand, Mikolai. You go and get yourself uh, a good night's sleep. Mikolai. Hello, man truck. How are you doing? bit of alt zero going on we'll only do it at 15 miles per hour though oh well nothing to see here guys my jcb is definitely not struggling up this hill uh, good night Mikolai. thank you for stopping by It's okay, I'll be streaming again tomorrow. I'll do it a little bit earlier again, I think. Yeah, I mean, one of them, uh, November, one of them is actually coming up on the 28th. And uh, I am I'm going to be streaming myself uh, during that. It's for a charity event set up by Nick Stegman. And there's going to be a whole bunch of folks, uh, a whole bunch of content creators that are going to be doing that. Which will be awesome. <laughs> motor <laughs> yos how dare you uh, the PC fans uh, the PC fans are still rolling it's just that I've turned up the in-game volume so, uh, I, w I did a little test stream just playing around with the sound settings because I really wanted to get that sorted out but uh, yeah I do plan on moving the tower uh, further away uh, off off the main desk where I sit with the monitors and the, the microphone but I mean they're definitely still running yeah thanks uh, man trucker I don't really keep a track of it but it is what it is yeah dirt farmer it's going to be fun and for a good cause as well. Uh, yeah, Darren Dool, uh I'll, I'll certainly accept any chip-tuned JCBs. The only thing is, I don't think it needs a speed increase. It just needs a power increase, if you know what I'm saying. Especially for this map, uh, there's no need for uh, JCB going 100 miles an hour because, well, yeah, it's just going to be carnage.
Yeah, the, the thing is, that's the thing with this uh, John Deere. I like the power increase. But as soon, uh, as soon as you do the power increase, it goes from 19 to uh, 93. And then basically it becomes uncontrollable. The power's nice. The speed is nice in some cases, but on tight maps like this one, it, it's, it's not suitable. Oh yeah, I mean, I, I absolutely love the, uh, the idea of a 100 mile per hour JCB. Uh, now that you mention that, uh, I'm sure JCB holds the record for fastest tractor. You should definitely go uh, check that video out. And I can't believe that that tractor is not a mod yet on Farm Sim. Craziness. Oh my goodness. It is struggling up this hill, isn't it? <laughs> Yeah, I've, I've, uh, to kilometre, 93, um, yeah, we can check that with the settings, I think, uh, general settings, and then go into here, Does 150 kilometers. Yeah. Oh, Yoss has got you. We don't work in uh, kilometers, so. Yeah, I, I was trying to get Yoss to do me a nice JCB, but he's not for doing it, you see. It's quite disappointing. Look, I was no problem going downhill. Look at this. I mean, I, I do have a JCB mod installed that would do this no problem. It's... Just that it's an unofficial mod. So I don't really want to showcase it. Well, I mean, I, I, I shouldn't need to ask for a favour, you know, he knows that I like JCB, you know, sometimes it's just nice to uh, gift your friends, isn't that right, Yoss? Yeah, I said the friends word. Hey, uh, good night, man truck, thank you for stopping by. Have yourself a good night. Northern Bear. Yeah, that certainly won't be happening. Yeah, uh, Vultures are also uh, quite quick, and they they did hold the record for a fast uh, the fastest uh, tractor. You know the, these records that they're going for; these are in tractors that are modified and stuff like that. 
they're generally not for the purpose of selling to farms to work on the farm uh, so they're not but uh, JCB a few years ago had the, the fast track one which is it looks incredible it's lowered it's aerodynamics and and it uh, obliterated the thing I will just uh, go and get the the speed 135.191 mile per hour it did it in 135 miles per hour hundred and thirty that that was around about eighty ninety mile per hour so I mean the JCB just obliterated that there is videos on YouTube that uh, show this these uh, this tractor blitzing down a runway it's quite a sight Uh, absolutely, I, I totally get what you're saying, yeah. I, I mean, I'm sure Voltra will be working on something to come back at them. But I mean, the JCB had all the aerodynamics and, and it, they just went all out on it. But I, I totally understand that the Voltra was pretty much uh, a stock uh, engine that they use in the S series, I think. Or is it the T-Series? It's about 250 horsepower, somewhere around that region. And they basically just tweaked the, the transmission and, and got it. But yeah, JCB just went all out and... <laughs> Um, I'm sure it, the war hasn't finished. Yeah, the T-Series. I knew it was one of them, yeah. It, it would be nice to see how quick a JCB, a stock JCB, uh, would go if they just... Uh, did basically the same thing and, and altered the transmission. You got censored again. <laughs> because I mean this JCB here, uh, the 42 series, uh, has around about the same horsepower rating as that Voltra. It's a little bit shy, but even still... It would be nice to see what this does with none of the crazy stuff that JCB did and just see how fast they can get it just altering the transmission setup. I love this Vultra Q series, I think it's a nice tractor.
Oh, I've just missed a whole bunch there. It'll be fine. No, uh, November, I'm meaning in real life. This is a uh, out of farm sim world. Uh, the the world records tractor, fastest tractor type thing. Because Voltra did hold it, but they just altered the transmission stuff. And then JCB went and uh, took that record by altering basically everything <laughs> on their tractor. It is quite, quite something. Yeah, Fent, Fent. Uh, I'm quite surprised that Fent hasn't joined in with this sort of record thing because they would be able to do something. But I kind of like how uh, like Fent and uh, Voltra have gone in the direction of having the capabilities of carting at high speeds, uh, like a JCB, but also the great tractors for infield work in the real world. And in Fent case, uh, the highly powerful tractors in the 1050 series that are capable of running at uh, decent road speeds and can manage every task that uh, you can want for field work uh, yeah yeah Deutz for another brand as well yeah I'm missing a, a few bits here, but it's fine. It's just a contract field. It's only the neighbor's field. It's finished. Lovely. We'll collect it. Thank you very much. See, I didn't miss any bits. Look at that. <laughs> yes, John Deere's do catch a little bit of flack, especially for their uh, their repair policy, which is absolutely crazy, absolutely insane. Cheetah. Ignoring cheetah. There is no cheating going on here. My wee sheeps. Oh, look, I'm already getting some wool. Look at this. Lovely. Right, so next one is one, two, three, and one sixteen. It's down on the main road. That's perfect. Oh yeah, doubt farmer certainly going. Just going straight out. Try the uh, 1050 series. It is a massive tractor.
uh, right next to where I live, l literally five minute walk from my front door, we have a Massey Ferguson dealership. And we also, right next door to them, we have a Ponce uh, dealership that do the forestry stuff. I, I would have went there and, and uh, got pictures and stuff like that, but before you do that, uh, it's generally common courtesy to uh, go in and ask whether it's okay. And I did that quite a few months ago when I was out on the bike and they, they weren't comfortable uh, with it, which is absolutely fine. It's well within their rights to decline. Uh, but it's always common courtesy to go in and ask these dealerships uh, before taking pictures and stuff like that. Yes, absolutely, Northern Bay. You'll be right at home at, uh, with the, the forestry stuff right next door to the Massey Ferguson dealership. Right, this is field one, two, three, and this is canola. Make sure we've got that changed over. Canola. <laughs> Dirt farmer, yeah. That's that's quite interesting. It, Oh, welcome back, Mikolai. Are you going to get yourself in trouble? Yeah, Ponce uh, dealership right next door to the Massey Ferguson dealership. It's about a five minute uh, walk from my front door. Oh, that, that neighbour needs to uh, have words with himself. Well, as long as you're not going to get yourself into trouble, Mikolai. What, too many trees on this uh, map? Yeah, I'm waiting for that uh, platinum expansion. Uh, Northern Bear, after the stream I will send you a video or you can go and search out for yourself. The uh, Giants released a video showcasing what them uh, wire things do. That, whatever they're called in forestry terms, I don't know. That winch system. It's pretty cool. Well, it was today that I seen it. Uh, I'm sure it might have dropped today. Oh, is that what it's called? Echo logger. <laughs> yeah, Mikolai, what we needed was a northern bear at that precise moment, but he wasn't around at that time. Northern Bear likes, uh, likes his trees. He likes growing them, he likes chopping them. Oh, and uh, happy Thanksgiving to you, November. I believe it's that day in, in your uh, country. 
correct me if I'm wrong, of course, but... <laughs> I, I can pretty much believe that, Yoss. Yeah, well, happy Thanksgiving to you. I hope your children are cooking you a nice meal. <laughs> I'm a bear, not a beaver. <laughs> yeah, there's a huge difference in them. Bears just have videos of them dancing up against a tree. I'm sure you have all seen them uh, videos. <laughs> and the beaver just eats at them. There you go, bear. Since you're a bear, are you going to uh, post a video? For us all to see you dancing up against the tree. Remember to keep it PG. <laughs> oh, that's that's good. Well, I hope you enjoyed that. Check the status of that. Oh, they got plenty to do them there now. Not going to happen. <laughs> Be fun. Well, you could uh, you could do it and just post it in the Discord. We're not going to ban you. We're going to laugh at you, but we're not going to ban you. Oh, we're getting through these contracts. No. One more field after this. We've got to make sure we turn it back over to wheat. Mikolai, Mikolai with the big words, everybody. Yeah, I mean that generally does happen at school. But you just get your head down. Keep your head down. 
discombobulated Mr. Mikolai. That's Scottish education right there. Hey, we don't do dollars round here. We're the good Scottish sterling pound over here. There you go, you even get a, a meaning. Very good, Mikolai. You'll have to get your parents to give you extra pocket money this week. <laughs> yeah, uh, farmer cop like to uh, mess about with me a little bit whenever I say pounds, and you know, and there he goes talking about his weight again. <laughs> yes, yes, you just uh, you just getting tuned in. I'll, I'll get you an increase in pocket money. Or he might travel down and, and I'll end up opening up my front door to him tomorrow. He'll be like, uh, no, we don't talk about pocket money around here. Northern Bear gives all his kids pocket money, don't you, Bear? <laughs> right, I believe that should be that one done. Perfect. So, we've got to make sure we're getting to wheat. Oh, we can't change it when it's uh, on. Lovely jubbly. Get it folded for travelling down the road. It's only just down here. Yeah, Bank Snodger gets plenty of pocket money. Jeez, he sure does. It's on the road, but yet there's no... End. Huh. It's okay, there's an opening here, as you can all see. Right, we've got it changed over to wheat, that's good. And we're off again. Um, Banks does share his quite a lot. 
Too much at times, Banks. I do have to uh, turn it back to There you go, Mikolai. You can ask banks for your pocket money. <laughs> oh, he does, Darren Dill. Yeah, that, that's just terrible. I certainly can't wait for the... Uh, to go and live in his house, though. It looks absolutely gorgeous, so it does. No worries, Mikolai. Well, thank you, parents, for the extra 20 minutes or so. And you go and get yourself a good night's sleep. And I'll see you tomorrow, no doubt. Look at this, motoring down. A bow? Why do you need a bow? Northern Bear, you're censoring yourself again, are you? Let me guess, them trees over there were way too overgrown. <laughs> A bow is for Minecraft. Yeah, I don't know why Darren Dill would want a bow. That that would be dangerous. And here's me wanting to visit Darren Dill and here's him wanting to arm himself up with a bow. I'm okay, thank you. Oh, you have quite the arsenal, <laughs> Darren Dill. An e-scooter. What, you... <laughs> Darren Dill just doing drive-bys on his e-scooter. Yeah. You know... Uh, Learning to shoot a bull would be quite an experience, yeah. I'll be watching out on the news. Local supermarket shot up with a BB gun. 
the culprit got away on his e-scooter. I could just mad imagine the headlines. <laughs> Such craziness. <laughs> yeah. And you got yourself your mini plow on the back of your e scooter, have you? <laughs> so, do you take your e scooter to work and just. That would be awesome. Going into your restaurant, seeing you float about on your e-scooter, just chucking plates at people for food. Oh, there you go. Mr. Grady's got a compound bow. Oh, Northern Bear, I, I do believe he's he's got a a, a motor vehicle, but uh, an e-scooter would definitely be a lot more fun, I would say. A lot more crazy. Just let him go. Yes, no worries, uh, November. I will be on the server af sometime a little bit after the stream because I've got some silage to sell. Maybe I'll see you on there. Uh, take it easy and thank you for stopping by, November. <laughs> With chip soup. <laughs> Yeah, uh, thank you, November. Although, don't don't feel obligated to do any of that, folks. Um, I'm just doing this for a bit of fun. Better learning experience as well. Oh, salmon! Now you're talking. I do love my fish. <laughs> Forty-two kilometers on your e-scooter. Christ. Your beard would be all over the place. <laughs> now that is a video I would love to see. Marty! There's our Marty. Hello Marty. I hope you're doing well on this fine Monday. Martin. <laughs> Wrong person, Yoss. That's our Marty, and don't you forget it. Yep, beard and ponytail, and it's all flapping in the wind as you're travelling down the highway at 42 mile per hour with your BB gun. Does that sound about right, Darren Dill? It's finished. Perfect. We'll leave that strip for them to do. There we go. Get this folded up. Any other quick contracts we can do? Fertilising. 
I mean the cultivating contracts, but I would need to lease a cultivator. Or we could do a baling contract. Thing is, I would need to lease a baler. Where is 108, 109? So that's these two fields. Uh, do we have a baler? I'm sure I've seen one in the shop anyway. Oh, it's not there. We don't have a baler. Now, why am I unfolding that? Are they wanting silage bales or are they wanting hay bales? They wanting hay bales, they wanting silage bales. I think we do 108. Uh, absolutely, Darren Dool. Yeah. I mean, if there's no need for you to take a motor vehicle out, you'll be saving a lot of money. And plus, it would be actually quicker because obviously you don't have to get stopped by traffic or whatever. I generally get round by bike or walking because everything that I need is is within bike and walking distance so <laughs> there's dirt farmer wanting to pull his cultivator on knee scooter <laughs> oh I can do bulk yeah but if it's silage I would need to do it wrapped. And I was thinking of uh, keeping the bales, the leftover bales. Or should I just sell them? Because you can get good money off them. Yeah, if I, if I was doing the hay contract, yeah, for sure. But it's alright. I'm sure there's a bale that I can... Uh, lease uh, that uh, will do the wrapping for us plenty of options there was a mod that came out today uh, I clearly didn't put it in. Uh, yeah, the silage pack baler mod. That looks like a pretty cool thing where you can just sort of trail behind. Product is product. Yes, but we need money. Hey, two grass bales. Well, that was the thing, uh, Marty. Uh, right, where? Let me just uh, get back on track. Yeah. So, Marty, I was hoping yesterday when I was streaming. Uh, thingy, there's there's your two grass bales waiting for me to buy you your truck. Then we'll get that loaded up into your truck, and then you can have your own truck. Always thinking about your Marty, you see? Got your two glass bales. Oh, you want a lift kit f for the e-scooter? Oh, you want a monster truck?
Right, I will need to uh, go and pick up the mowers. Then I'll need to figure out uh, what baler I'm going to lease. Might just be easier uh, getting the one with the wrapper on it. Got it all done in a pass or two. Marty, I hope you're proud. Look how it's slowly getting there. Yeah, if I put it in my fermenter, uh, it would take time, wouldn't it? But I'm sure you get a premium. Uh, who in the hell? Get these guys out of here. <laughs> Thank you, Yoss. Oh. Yeah, but I think you get a premium for wrapping the bales. I think you get a premium price when you sell the bales, but I can't confirm that. I don't know how true it is. Maybe some testing is... Uh... Just check and don't complain. Yes, we will check. What what do you mean check? Wrap it to make silage bales. So I'm going to mow the field. I'm going to pick it up in my forage wagon, which would take three million trips because that forage wagon only holds We'll go mow the field. We know that one for sure. Hi, Ninja Farmer. Thank you for joining. Uh, yeah, uh, we do have some silage cooking away, but I don't think it'll be enough to. Uh, just check. Oh, we have 37,000. But we'll go mow the field and then we'll... So what you want, what you're pretty much saying, Darren Dool, is mow the field and then just go and uh, get uh, that silage out and sell it to... There's no bail bonus. Oh, gee. Well, nothing to see here, guys. Sun was in my eyes. Ah, I see what you mean. So before I go down, you want me to go and... Right, where's the cell point? It's down here. I mean, I'll drop the mowers off, then I'll go back and sell some and do a little test for you. Down door. But either way, I'm going to make these into bales. There's no bale bonus. Now, are you sure? Before you go down, go up. 
Yes, but I need to come down anyway to uh, with the mowers. I would need to make a second trip anyway. Plonk you there, and we'll drop you right there, and we'll head on back up. I don't even know I've got a trailer, but we'll get one. Hello, Mark Thor. Thank you for joining. Hope you're doing well. We are going to give it a try down though, only time will tell. FC style drive driving. Hey, I take all the racing lines. Right, uh, the thing is, do I have a trailer? No, I don't. Let's go and have a look. Trailers. I mean, I do have this bad boy. <laughs> but I really want this one. Because obviously I want a Scottish flag on. That's a silage body, that would be perfect. Like them wheels. Perfect. Uh, before I do that, I should. There we go. Yeah. No. Yeah, Yoss. They are pretty persistent today. Uh, attacking the bot today. Right, trailers, stead, beautiful, that's what we want, now do I lease it, or buy it, let's buy it. Get some silage in here and then we'll go and see if it um I think I do. I could just double check because I do have the cedar leased. I do. No, they attack everybody. It doesn't matter if you've got one sub or one billion subs, they attack everybody, them bots.
Right, I believe I gotta take a we left here, I do. Racing line. Oh, oh, trust me, Darren Dill, they were out before, before then. I can tell you the exact moment we started getting them bots. It was around about the, the episode that, uh, on Willamina, uh, series, back on FS19. Uh, the episode where he started cutting them trees, because me, me and Quiet Hitman were like, Ever since you opened up them woods, they've come out. And it's been a running joke ever since. Right. So we're on zero percent. And um, we we'll just do a little bit. Oh, look at that, mister. One percent. Ha ha. I see, I see. Now, would it be better for me to mow the grass before tipping this? Now, now, Yoss. <laughs> yeah, I'm going to leave that there. Go mow the grass. See, the bail, why I said I'm going to bail it is because simply for transporting that much, because I've only got a, a small forager wagon. And it would be constant trips backwards and forwards. Uh, bailing, I can just get an auto loader and, and maybe do one to two trips. Oh. Uh, nope, we're going down here. We'll go to the shop and we'll pick up a Lisa Baylor slash wrapper. Well, waste of diesel. Now, now. No wastage of diesel ledge here. It's all for science. Uh, oh, I will need to uh, do that, uh, reset that, and we'll have a look at uh, some bailers. Oh, I did add that thing. I don't think I added that, but I, I do. Shoot, this is the... What size does that do? It goes up to 134. It does up to 184. 
Uh, no worries, uh, Yoss. You have yourself a good night and thank you for stopping by. Oh, we do the fast BLR. They'd only do it to 134. Pretty cool looking machine. Oh, it's 154 for wrapping the the bales. I'll lease this. It could come in handy. Right, uh, make sure of max of one fifty four. I'm going to need these silage bales anyway to uh, for the cows when we get into the cows. So I'll plunk that there and we'll get on with some mowing. I will just need that up just to make sure it's on swath dropping. And I will also uh, it is on swath dropping, that's good. I'll also do it all wheel steering. <coughs> I wonder if I've got my button configured. I do. Lovely. Turns them all both on at the same time. Who put that tree there? Maximize our yieldage. That little bit as well. Get a whole bunch off this anyway.
talking about mowers, do I even have... Nope. I, I uh, need to activate that mod. They're totally not a case mower. That I got sent. Because that's a fantastic mower for later on uh, in the game. The mowers that I'm using are part of the uh, the Kubota uh, equipment pack. The quite nice uh, pack. I, I believe it's just a remake of the Vicon ones. They have a sl uh, slightly higher working speed, and obviously you can put the BX on it. But yeah, I, I like that pack. It's pretty good. Available on all platforms, that one as well. Which mowers are them? Or is it a, a, a remake that you've done, Mark? Twenty percent completed. There we go. Stick the, these up out the way. Oh, yes, I rem uh Yes, yeah, so you can have both the mowers on the front. And a bale or a forage wagon on the back, so you're just doing one trick. There was a new pack that came out today on Mod Hub, uh, the silage pack, and it looks pretty cool.
Oh, this bale's going to have a whole bunch in it. Oh, uh, that, that uh, bale of the pack that came out today. Yeah, it it looks on the face of it. I've not yet tried it myself. I, uh, but it looks a nice pack. We will just get the initial lines and then we'll clean up wherever we've missed after. Oh. And it's wrapping, which is good. I wonder if it's going to auto drop off. Uh, do, 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 do. We'll just try and grab this stuff. I think I'll... Yes, I'm turning off the all-wheel steering. It's a bit uh, sensitive. drink We'll get a few bills off this anyway, I think. Hi Luca, thank you for coming by, hope you're well, hope you've got your mod issues sorted.
just get these little bits around here waste not want not and all that one day you'll sort them <laughs> Hopefully we'll get one more bale out of this. Maybe. We get one more bale, that would be nice. Be close. A little bit round here, yeah, we should definitely get it. There it is. One, two, three, four, five. Five bales. Welcome back, Northern Bear. There we go, we'll... Right. Uh, we don't have... I don't know what bale loaders I've got in this pack. It's part of that, so they'll definitely go onto there. That'll do us fine. Well, they said. A little bit hard up on cash. I could have uh, used store delivery. And I'll just reset it down to here. There she is. Uh, yeah, uh, I will uh, send you it, uh, November. I'll send you it as soon as I've uh, done the stream. I won't be too long now, anyway. So we want. Five bills. Right, so where are we at with that contract, I wonder? We're 21%. Hello, Faber Farman. How are you?
That's good, Faber. I'm glad to hear it. going to go down and see if we can sell off the silage and it complete the contract and if it does uh, I don't know whether I'm going to sell all the silage anyway just to get some money because within contracts these are classed as silage bales currently If I uh, complete the contract, uh, they will no longer be classed as silage bales. Well, I'm assuming. Uh, because it would need to take time to go into silage. So I'm just wondering whether I want to sell them off anyway. Just to get some money in the bank. It's not going up a whole lot. It's a good job. I brought the bales down. Some tight turn steering now. Yeah, I think I'm just going to plonk all these on and see what happens. So it took a good chunk of that anyway, so it's a good job we did the bales. Try this at home, guys. Do we have straps on this? Well, this is going to be risky, but anyway, we'll. That's not that's not cheap, and that's just uh, being strong. That's just being efficient. Yeah, it's okay. I, there's. Uh, no straps on this. I'm 
I'm sure it'll be fine. Yeah, I had all my bigos. Makes me very strong. Look at that. Exactly, you see. I just didn't have this somebody else to load it on for me. Stuff like this always happens. See, strong. It, uh, this trailer is made of very lightweight material, as you can see, Scottish premium stuff. Hello Morgan, the dear man. I'm very well, thank you, how are you? Do is absolutely fine now. What? If I just uh, unhooked it, a paper trailer. Indeed, Scottish Superman, uh, I, I'm thinking more along the lines of, uh, you know, super lightweight carbon, older NASA spec. Right, I will need to go and get me other mower, the baler. Did I collect the contract? I sure did. got my money out of it. See, all in all, I didn't really make too much off doing that contract. Uh, did, did, did. Harv uh, where's the bale? Bale, bale. Sold bales. So I, s I got rid of all my silage. Anyway, it didn't complete anywhere near it. So I've lost 30,000 silage and only got an extra 1,000 on top of the 10,000. So I don't think that paid out too well for me. Doing it that way, but hey ho, it was for science. Hey, that could be a new superhero name, Matt. Yeah, no worries, Luca. Thank you for stopping by and you have a good night.
are just cruising down the road. Now it might be a mistake putting this thing on the front before I attach the baler, but we'll figure it out. Now you definitely wouldn't see this in real life. There's no way in this earth you would see this. It would be crazy. be fun. It'd be crazy though. I mean you could still see but there's too much blind spot there. I must say this is a really nice map. I really do like it. street lamps are nice as well. I would highly recommend this map if you if you've not yet checked it out. It's a really nice available on all platforms. There we go, we'll get this uh, put in here. We'll put this in over there. <laughs> yeah. We'll tidy our trailer away. I do just want to check to see how our sheepies are doing. Oh, we're getting wool. Oh, my lord. Can't be having them escape. My wee haggis. Looking very happy. Hello there, good sir. Look at this wee... Very happy sheeps. Uh, the food should be absolutely fine. They'll be fine for, for now. There we go. I'm sure I've fertilised this. Yes, that's good to go. That's all growing perfectly. We will need to watch out. Next time I will get it rolled. It needs rolling. We'll have to deal with the weeds. That's fine. We'll keep tabs on that. Uh, and we've collected all our contracts that we've done today. Sheep's good. Bank account's still okay. Well, I think that's where we're going to leave it tonight. And 
So we are. I'll be streaming again tomorrow back on uh, Maple. Uh, I'm not 100% certain on time yet, but I will schedule it tomorrow. And I hope I see you all there. And we'll get on with some more contracts. Maybe do some harvesting tomorrow. Just to change it up a little bit. But yeah, I want to thank everybody that uh, stopped by tonight. And I can see all the likes that folks have left me, which I do appreciate. And it's been fun. Uh, uh, Catch you tomorrow if you are about. So thank you. I hope you all have a good night. And I'll catch